Kurdish leaders in Iraq are claiming that once the Islamic State has been defeated, Iraq should be divided into three separate states, all in an effort to prevent further sectarian bloodshed. Now, they call for the country to be divided geographically, with each state to be given to the three separate groups, the Shiite Muslims, the Sunnis, and the Kurds. Of course, this is the Kurdish official that's calling for this. Uh, they have the most land, the most resources currently in the northern part of Iraq. Um, this uh, gentleman, he was the head of the Kurdistan Regional Government Security Council. This is what he had to say regarding the separation. He says, Federation hasn't worked, so it has to be either confederation or full separation. If we have three confederated states, we will have equal three capitals, so one is not above the other. The Kurds, as we understand it, regionally, they've been targeted specifically. Um, they have a lot of the northern part of Iraq where it's oil rich. And they're wanting their own separate state for, for, for various reasons. The opposite sides of that, namely Sunni members of parliament, they're saying, look, the, the equitable division of resources would, wouldn't, wouldn't occur, it would lead to greater bloodshed. And uh, the reason that the U.S. invaded Iraq to begin with was to, to bring democracy, unify, to federate. It hasn't worked. It's failed miserably. He makes a good point. I mean, it does make sense when you look at it. It's obviously very sad to think about you know, the fact that it's basically ethnic separation. I don't want to call it ethnic cleansing, but you know, that's what it that's what it is at the end of the day. But obviously in terms of uh, calming potentially some of the violence between these groups, uh, it does sound like it makes sense. Obviously, Kurdistan, uh, as you mentioned, it is an oil-rich uh, area, the northern part of Iraq where they sit. And so obviously it's in their interest to separate themselves and obviously because they've also been such targets as well. But obviously, you know, it's sad to see that it's come to this, but I, I for one, think it, it might make a lot of sense. It, it's not necessarily a fix-all solution, though. I mean, let's be, be honest. There has been talk about partitioning off and slicing up Iraq for a very, very long time, and it hasn't been done yet for a reason. It's not that simple. It's not just like separate everybody and everything's gonna, everyone's going to be happy. This is land that was divided uh, with these geopolitical lines over, a, uh, not over a century, almost a century ago, right? And this is land that, that belonged to a lot of different groups, a lot of different religions, a lot of different sects within Islam as well. It's very complicated. It's a melting pot of different ethnicities and uh, it's a very diverse region is all I want to say. And, you know, we, we clumped people together. That hasn't worked all that well, but look, this this was years ago, and now I'm sure there's a lot of Kurds that first and foremost probably, you know, identify as Iraqi. They might be ethnically Kurdish, but they were raised in Iraq. And that goes the same for the Sunnis and the, and the Shias and everybody else. I, I don't think splitting everybody up will just, you know, make everything perfect. It might actually make things even worse. Mm -hmm. The, the main reason that the U.S. Um, doesn't want to undermine the central government in countries where there are large populations of Kurds, um, th there are a number of reasons. So for Iraq, for example, we've used the Kurds in fighting ISIS on the ground. Yeah. That's a fact. And we don't, we don't typically back Kurds. And there's no, been no official response from the U.S. regarding th these three uh, federated states, these three separate states. Um, and that's, that's interesting. There's no narrative uh, supporting how some people feel. Unfortunately for right now, though, there's no national identity in Iraq, and we've had a major hand in that. This Kurdish leader makes a great case for separation, but it's all contingent on defeating Daesh, which at the moment looks bleak.